Welcome to Survivors Gaming. Tap Titans 2 Clan Raid Guide. A uh, big shout out to Lemming Lama and Taco and the TT community um, for the big help in this, uh, mainly to Lemming Lama. I'll give a link in the description below. If it wasn't for all their help, these guides would be possible. They're, they're a massive uh, contribution to the community. So please send them some love and follow and help them out as well. Now there's been a lot of people who have been struggling with the concept and have questions and guides about this new clan raid system for 3.0. So I thought of, with the help of these guys, um, throw, a, throw up a video to just explain it all in detail and also give some deck examples and any questions you guys might have. Uh, if you like the video, give a thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment below. And again, show some love to these amazing guys. Okay, let's crack on. So the clan raid, uh, the current clan raid system is done by tickets and tiers. So raid tickets, before you begin a clan raid, you must first gather enough raid tickets to start one. Raid tickets can be earned through completing daily achievements or by completing new clan raids for the first time. Now all members of your clan contribute to your clan raid tickets until you finally have enough to begin a raid. So I don't stress enough that the main earnings um, for a clan at the moment is basically raid tickets. If you're not collecting raid tickets by doing daily tasks, what you've got to do is log in, quickly uh, do a run, prestige, that's your first couple of tickets done. If you're not doing that, a lot of people will start kicking you from clans because you're just not part of the scene. It's um, unfortunate, but there's no excuse to, to, to gain tickets anymore. So this is a must plus, don't be a loser. Get these tickets in and raid tiers clan raids fall into two tiers these tiers are subdivided into levels as you complete clan raids against higher tiers and levels the health of the titan lords will increase and the rewards will increase with it the basics of each tier is follows so tier one is what we're starting off now tier lords with no armor and health amounts will be low each tier raid will cost about 200 to 500 tickets and the rewards go up with each tier card completion there are 10 levels of tier 1 raid and each level will contain two unique titan lord types now tier 2 which was released in 3.1 update which we've got now is a bit harder the titan lords now have armor and their health amounts are higher and the raid ticket cost costs 500 and you do get better rewards uh, but there are at least 20 levels of raid 2 tiers and each level will contain three unique lord types so rewards, there's two different types, your clan rewards and your player rewards. Claim clan raids rewards will reward your clan and yourself from policing of a raid. The two clan rewards are clan XP, which helps increase your clan's advanced stage percentage and raid tickets, which you need to start raids. You also get a first completion bonus of more tickets if you can complete the raid within three days. Uh, don't worry, you'll still get rewards if not completed within three days, but you just won't get the bonus tickets for first completion and you won't be able to unlock the next zone. The player rewards, you get cards, dust and hero skulls. So the cards you receive, cards for completing raids, you only get the same tier cards of the raid you've completed. So only tier one cards for tier one, tier two and one if you complete tier two. Dust is used to upgrade your cards and it can be used to purchase cards from dust stop. Dust is, is used to improve your, uh, your arcane bargain passive skill as well. Hero skulls is similar to the hero weapons upgrades but they increase specific hero skills rather than the base damage. Hero skulls always contribute to your anti-titan cannon passive skill as well. Raid times and titan parts. So raid times, you can start the clan raid using raid ticket, and when you have, then you have to wait 24 hours for the raid to begin. You can then attack the titan lord three times using different cards in each attack. There is a 30 second cooldown time between each attack. Once the three attacks are finished, there is a 12 hour wait time until you can do another three attacks again. Now, once the raid has been completed, there is a one hour wait time to rewards are sent to all players that take a part in the raid. And then again, you have to wait 24 hours for it to start all over again. Now, Titan Lord parts. Uh, Titan Lord clan raid has eight different body parts. Head, torso, left shoulder, right shoulder, left hand, right hand, left leg, right leg, as shown in the picture in the bottom right. Each part has its own health and certain cards will have more of an effect on, the, on that body part. So read the description of each card to see which ones are best suited for the job. 
Named Lord. During a kind of raid, you fight between different title lords, each with their own set of armor and body parts with their own health. Uh, note that the armor type titans are from tier two onwards. Now, there's different lord named lords actually being based on the previous title one's heroes. So I thought of putting the, the descriptions of the previous ones just for a bit of lore. Be feel free to pause this video and have a read through. It's just a bit of fun and nostalgia for Tap Title 1 players. So the six one together. So again, feel free to pause this. Um, I'll save having to read through all the lore. You can just feel free to have a look. Now card types, there are three card types, Burst, Affliction and Support. Burst cards have a chance to act activate per tap and deal multiple on your raid damage when they activate. Burst cards have the highest amount of damage per activation out of all the card types. You will tend to see that the mix up of cards in the examples in the next couple of slides would be mostly two bursts and support or maybe a mixture of bursts and, and affliction support uh, the reason being is as mentioned in these descriptions which I'll go through a bit more detail now is that burst does more a highest amount of act, uh, damage per activation and then um, support multiplies those damage and afflictions where um, basically as a continuous amount of stacking damage so affliction cards have a chance to activate per tap and activation then will apply a stack of an affliction to that titan part the affliction has duration and effect based on what affliction it is there's a maximum number of afflictions per part that you can have at once afflictions are strong since they continue to damage a titan part even if you aren't tapping and they're great for spending damage among several titan parts at once and finally support support cards have a chance to activate per tap and activate them will give you a stack of that support that gives a passive boost while the stacked if active support stacks have a duration effect based on what support it is and there is a maximum number of stacks that you can have at once supports are strong since the multiple cards that can boost your base tap damage and the damage of your cards while they won't deal damage by themselves they will allow your other attacks to deal far more damage than they could otherwise there's seven cards in each section so burst affliction and support so for burst you got razor wind whip of lightning Clanship Barrage, Moonbeam, Skull Bash, Fragmentes, and Purifying Blast. Again, I'll, I'll let you pause the screen if you want through want to read through statistics. At the moment, I've got them all set in level two, and they're just the cards accumulated when I was doing this, guys. Um, but yeah, feel free to have a read through. I would recommend to read descriptions. It's quite important to see the best combinations you can get out of them. This is Affliction decks. So there's Acid. Drench, Decay and Strike, Blazing Inferno, Thriving Plague, Radioactivity, Grim Shadow and Fusion Bomb. So again, pause and have a read through the descriptions if you want to know a bit more details about all these cards. And finally, support. You've got Rancid Gas, Prismatic Rift, Crushing Instinct, Ancestral Favor, Inspiring Force, Soul Fire and Victory March. Uh, this is a couple of examples of decks that you can use. Um, there's three main body types. The first one is armor, which only exists on tier two Titan Lords. Armor has its own health and must be broken through before you can get to the next layer to the juicy bits. There is loads of different variants. So if you do come across a one that you think is much stronger or better than these builds, uh, by all means use that and feel free to leave it in a comment or join our discord and share with everyone else so for this armor section three main different types to split up the uh, torso only one body part or two three parts now i'm using the, the practice titan uh, to show you what kind of damage you're doing these are main for the um, armor titan so it won't give uh, the exact damage output or best output because the practice titan is not armored but i'm just going to show you what kind of sweep in motion not the actual damage is given please try that yourself but the sweep motion for two body parts i'll do it like this so it'd be the shoulder the arm or the leg or the torso or the head um, torso and leg and the torso only i'll just do a circular motion like this to select torso and one body part normally it's the torso or the head that's that received the most damage so i'll do the head in a circular motion like this this is just example 
the body type the second layer's body on the first layer or the first layer of the tier one titan lord and the practice titan the body parts are what the health port titan lord is made of so dealing enough damage to the body parts will eventually kill the titan clearly the health of the titan lord will be the sum of the health of all eight body parts so destroying the body part of the titan lord will expose the skeleton now the again these are the different builds examples that are shown in tap titan community feel free to check them out if you see any better examples or for the body builds, feel free to share them, comment them, comments below or your best builds set up you've got. It'd be great to share your best decks with everyone. So feel free to try this out. Again, I'll show it in the video, the, in the rights, the setups and the swipes and the kind of damage I'm getting for these examples. So I'll start with the top one. So if Ashes Trents, Purifying Blast and Inspiring Force, I set two or three body parts. So again, it'd be either the, the shoulder or the, or the arm or the torso, head and leg, and skull bash, clan ship barrage, and ancestral favor, I normally do head only, so just a little circle motion on the head, and razor wind, moonbeam, and soul fire is torso only, so just do a little circle motion. Finally, you've got skeleton, which is the final layer. Skeleton only receives 5% of your base damage when you're tapping on it. There are no, no card effects can be activated by tapping on skeleton. Typically, you, you want to avoid the skeleton and focus on the rest of the armor part of the bodies. So again, this is a setup which is to ignore the skeleton part and just use these parts for what's left of the body. So purifying blast, acid drench, victory march, two or three parts, I'll use it in this. Uh, razor wind, moonbeam and soul fire, I do torso only, so again a little circle motion here. And skull bash, clan ship barrage, ancestral favour on one part only, so again which, whichever parts remain in. Uh, raid strategies these are quite helpful tips from lemming llama um that which makes sense i would involve following these to do the most sufficient clan raid you can so create groups that level only specific cards they typically what will be done by splitting up people leveling the, the head torso cards armor body cards but having teams specialize give, give you good results this can involve some coordination where people can hit, especially if you require armor team to hit before the body team can begin. So this is just working with your clan, especially if you've got a Discord group together, to just hit specific parts so you don't have to level up all your cards evenly. You can half half your team level up one card to make that strong set, so like an armor team, and then the other team to level up all your body cards to do the body team to get the most damage out. Spread out damage, if several people are all attacking the same part at the same time and destroying it at once, an overall kill damage of the part is wasted. Using decks focused around targeting several parts can help spread out your damage and prevent waste. This also prevents situations where the head or torso are destroyed and you can have lots of players who level up those cards but the rest of is still alive as well. This is again linked with the top comment so it's just specialised on what damage you're doing. Then lastly focus on specific parts. This strategy revolves around maximising the victory march. Targeting specific parts and busting through them as soon as possible helps expose skeleton which then can give, give a large damage, to, damage when using victory march. This strategy can work very well for titans that don't have much health in their arms since the four parts can break easily and allow everyone else to finish off the head, torso and legs. If you liked the videos and if they helped you very much then please leave a like and subscribe and leave your comments below. I will be doing more guides soon. There's more specific guides I'll be doing next will be on the beginner's guide. So I'm literally doing a from scratch step by step guide or when you first play the game, first log in. Um, so how what to be getting first, what to be leveling, what to be looking for um, so from scratch. So basically a combination of all the previous guys into one order step. I don't know what I'll do it to, maybe 5 or 10k, so the first 10k steps. So it might be a couple of series. But I'll do a step-by-step -step guide on how, or beginner's guide really, on how to do that. Then I'll probably do, other th I've got a lot of other things lined up. So artifact guide, I might have to revise the build guides for 3.1 plus i'm actually doing a lot of animations and gifs for um how to build up your stream or if you want to do a channel so I'll do a lot of graphics for that as well so there's a lot of videos coming if uh, if you like the sound of that hit the bell button and i'll see you all soon take care bye